So how this game works, they're going to do a scene just like normal, except they are going, I'm going to base their scene off of the secret language of birthdays for teenagers. Um, so can somebody give me a birthday? It could be your birthday or someone else's birthday. July 22nd. What's that? July 22nd. July 22nd. That's what my credit card requires. Oh. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> well, what was it? What's the three numbers on the back? <laughs> um, okay. So, July 22nd. You prefer to be surprised. You're most likely to be a photographer, a photographer or a rock star. Let's see. You believe that life is like poker. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. But as long as you have the winning hand in the end, it's all good. Your life has got more drama than a production of Hamlet. Things never stay easy for long. And you have the rocky grades and relationship history to prove it. Am I right? Jeez. Determined and persistent, you don't let the bumps get you down. Um, your attraction is straight to Aquarius. Their open attitude and take it as comes philosophy appeals to you, and you can count on them to cheer you up when you're taking your sweet your, when you're taking on your newest embers. And um, no matter what you do or how long it takes, you always end up at the top of the game. Report card. Yeah? Yeah. How'd it go this semester, champ? Rough. Yeah, a little rocky, it looks like. I didn't study. At all? No. What have you been doing in your bedroom all these past few months? You're not playing video poker again, are you? A little honey, bit. We a little bit. Honey, we talked about this. Video poker doesn't count as math homework. Uh, but I've learned a lot from it. It's like odds and stuff. Yeah? Yeah. Just sometimes you're up, sometimes you don't do well. I mean, I guess that explains the B in math, but what did video poker have to teach you about early U.S. history? Because that one's worse than a B. Yeah, it's a D. Yeah, it's, it's bad. It's, well, yeah. Yeah, it is bad. Well, you, want to, you want to talk about it? I guess. Uh, had a bad breakup, Dad. What? Well, you knew oh, that. Oh, yeah, I mean, I did. It was that cute Aquarius boy, right? <laughs> yeah, Sean and I, we were going to study for three weeks, and then something happened. I told you his, his carefree attitude was just a little bit too uh, come as they go. It's Yeah, it's just not for me, I guess. Oh, it's fine. But you and know, I took to the online poker because it makes me feel better. Yeah, I, I get it. It's tough, though. So let me tell you that I used to be addicted to uh, a video game. It's sort of like online poker. What is it? It's called World of Warcraft. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. What's that like? It's like if instead of poker chips you had magic spells and then otherwise it's basically the same. Um, <laughs> Maybe wow. you could get really into that. That's how I met your mom. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you, you met a cool girl doing that. I met a girl doing it, yeah. <laughs> you, 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 learned, you learned math. I did learn math and, and history. Uh, ask me anything about Azeroth and I'll... I'll uh, yeah, that's, so Azeroth's sort of like America if it was magic spells instead of guns. Well, where, where do you play this? this you play on great. the same computer you play video poker on, son. Get the hell now, out. I, I, uh, I got a call from your school while before you got here, and I heard about the report card already. I installed it while you were on the bus home, so go ahead and uh, fire that bad boy up. Uh, I know that you'll uh, make it work. You know, I always thought you'd be Yeah. You know, son, I always thought you'd be a photographer or a rock star, but... No, this looks pretty good. Yeah, champion of the land also works for me, you know? <laughs> what the hell's the horde? Don't, Remember those kids down on the other side of town that I tell you not to talk to? Uh -huh. It's like if they were big and green. Oh my god, I'm going to be a gnome. Oh, absolutely you are, son. You're goddamn right you are. We can keep the chairs out. Oh, what? Yeah. I'm going to stay in one of the chairs. What? Yeah. Go 
my hosts yeah. real quick then. Hey, we're going to play a game for yes, the cat. Yes, get up here, sir. Got to need some soda, brothers. Oh. In case, case it's it down. In case. Yeah. Are these two cells are going to play? Sure. Yes. All right, awesome. Cool, we got players. We got people we can tap. Um, you guys know that whatever they tap you, you're going to say whatever word comes to your mind, whether it fits in the sentence or not. So let's get them started, though. Uh, what's something that um, I picked up in trash uh, in Wiles and Beaver? Bananas. I picked up bananas. Uh, they were they're trash really bananas. right. Trash bananas. Trash bananas. Trash bananas. God damn it, honey. What's wrong? They gave me plain tames. Plain tames. No, I did it. I heard you the first time. That's, uh... It's smaller. It's a lot to unpack. Yeah, they're smaller they and more bitter. They don't taste the sweet. They're like, yeah, yeah, they're like tartar somehow. It's it's weird. We'll make it work. Um, who doesn't love a plantain split Sunday? <laughs> Me. We could serve her with the uh, cranium. Cranium we had left over from last summer. You know that didn't really sell, but maybe if we pair the two of them together, it'll work better. How do you open them? <laughs> They don't have the little stem at the top like bananas, and it's throwing me off. Yeah, it, that's, the other, that's the other problem is that you have to actually use a knife to open those. They're not as fun to open, and if you don't have a knife, well, then you're kind of screwed. But... Honey, yeah. look, I, I gotta tell you something. I, I don't want to do Sunday Fridays anymore. Okay, just, that's a lot to unpack. You see... <laughs> rubber cement. Lately, I'm, um... I've been helping rubber cement! <laughs> and I'm glad I've been you, I'm glad, to tell you I'm, that... <laughs> I'm glad you came to me with this information. Um, but I can't do... Anything. Friday, Sundays, yeah, right no, now I, because I... I, I I, I think I should get help yeah, well, with this problem and I just... Don't worry, you don't have to... You we, know, can, we can get rid of the rubber cement. Um, I know we use it in the building, but we can just use... <laughs> bruises. Bruises to hold stuff together instead. And if we get rid of the rubber cement and replace it all with bruises, uh, then... It might know, hold as well, though. You yeah, know what else I do. And also, I realize that... It, I, yeah, I get it. And the plantains and... So the whole it's thing... Just, I mean, knowing that tonight, even that the plantains just started growing it already, and now, honey, I have a I very just, important question uh, to ask you. Did they actually give you plantains, or did you just accidentally buy plantains because you were high in rubber cement? <laughs> <laughs> well, glitter. I mean, it's like when I do it, it's just like it's like I see glitter, glitter everywhere. I get it. No, I get it. And, you know that things just don't look as bright. And no, I, I understand. <laughs> I just, I can't bear to do Friday Sundays with you while I have this problem. I just feel like I mean, a I horrible can, person, and can, I'm sorry, and can, I just... Removable. I, I just, I feel so removable from your life, well, I, and I feel well, awful. Honey, I would never, <laughs> you're not removable, you're irremovable, trust me. Really? Yeah. I can do Fridays, Friday, Sundays by myself, or Sunday, Fridays, I apologize. Oh, God, I feel so awful, though. It's so no, lonely. It's, I'll, make, I'll make it work. Uh, I can bring Wigwam. Wigwam into the office. And you know how great Wigwam is at conversation? It's a lot of fun. Honey, you're just saying that to be nice. I am. I am just saying that to be nice. I hate him so much. I hate him too. so much. <laughs> well, stay up here, guys. And Conrad, you come up as a matter of fact. Because we are gonna round out the show. Damn, that's it's time for <laughs> It's time for the last game of the evening, everybody, and it is World's Worst. So for the last time this evening, you can provide us with a person, place, thing, or an idea, any noun you got, and we will give you the world's worst example of that right here. And you guys have been tremendous tonight. Joe, thank you so much for coming and supporting us. <laughs> this means you're great, man. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, world's worst. We give, we get anything. We will give you examples such as the world's worst doctor or proctologist, porn star, bus driver, or police officer. No thanks. I don't like donuts. Hey! hey! Robocop. <laughs> well, 
can we please get a world's worst? Catholic nun. Catholic nun. Put your fingernails here. I have a, a little emery point of a snack. <laughs> Black's not really my color. <laughs> what gods do I believe in? None. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that sex was great. <laughs> got a tattoo of Jesus on the cross right here. <laughs> <laughs> what up, kids? Sister Ann here to talk to you about my favorite friend, Jeezy Crazy. <laughs> Alright, kids, just play for yourself. Um, me and Sister Ann are going to be in the closet together. <laughs> Must be nuns. <laughs> World's worst? Robot. Robot. You've hurt my feelings very badly. Oh. I've uh, automated a robot to burn books. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's pretty efficient. Draw your robot, it doesn't fall down when I kick it. <laughs> we gave it laser eyes, but it mostly just uses them to annoy its teachers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now it says it says here I'm not a robot. I want you to go ahead and cheat it and make it think that you're you're not. I present to you Johnny Ford. <laughs> This is how 8,999. <laughs> <laughs> Something else. Psychiatrist. World's worst psychiatrist. We're just going to bore seven holes in your skull? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that is a lot. Uh, <laughs> <oof>. <laughs> about your father. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look, look, honey, just give him a blowjob. Let's <laughs> <laughs> do it. One last world's worst. Bartender. Bartender. Yep. This is how I use my degree in psychiatry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm not cleaning this glass. My hand's stuck. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and on ladies night, it's bikinis 50% off. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm not cleaning this glass. My, I, uh, I'm stuck. <laughs> Norm! Norm! Oh, Norm! Viagra salesman. Viagra salesman. Pardon me, looks like your reader don't work. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sir, are you having problems uh, sleeping with your wife? Because I know I did last night. <laughs> sir, I couldn't help but notice your flagpole out front is sagging. <laughs> Have I got a product? <laughs> Neo. Take the blue pill. <laughs> <laughs> what's up? I'll tell you what's not. <laughs> How about a firm handshake? How about a firm penis to match? <laughs> 
Are they safe? Absolutely, sir. I took three before I got out of my car at your door. <laughs> so, you're saying the Viagra's not working? Well, let's just, uh, let's... Massage your prostate. <laughs> and if you have an erection for more than four hours, call everyone you know! <laughs> Listen, Cialis, you've been pressing in on our territory lately. <laughs> I wouldn't want no one to wake up in a bathtub on a hillside, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Hi, I'm here to sell you for... What's that? You lesbians? Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> yep. We do it every Friday. Every Friday! Good night, guys. Yes, uh, hey, did you. you guys hear about the guy that died of a Viagra overdose? What? what? Yeah. At his funeral, they couldn't close the lid on the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Bravo. So you got the last joke of the night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, show's officially over.